Hello, this is Hoffman Trifle Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can create lightning in Blender fairly easily by using the Electrify add on. It's not on you have to pay for, but it's got a lot of options and it makes making and creating lightning, lightning, sorry about that, in Blender fairly easily. I'll leave a link of it below the video so you can download yourselves and check it out. And it's for Blender 2.82 all the way up to 4.2. I wish more add-ons were like that, where you can use them in various versions of Blender. This is one of those rare ones that actually does. Uh, the installation process is still the same. Just go to Edit, Preferences, click on Install, navigate to that zip folder, click on that zip folder, click on Install Add-on. Let me type in Electrify, and there it is. Put a check in the box, and it's ready to go. And this on the right hand side of the UI, which is the tool panel. This got uh, about four different versions of lightning. It has a simple lightning, low poly lightning, branch lightning, and the random lightning. Um, and when you click on the arrow, it gives you a drop down to choose, uh, actually have parameters to use to create the lightning. Uh, let's delete this cube, delete that. And I'm using Blender 2.92 for this uh, tutorial. And click on Generate New. And there's your lightning. It renders in EV and in Cycles. Um, usually I say Cycles is better. But because of the Bloom feature, EV is better in this case. Um, the lightning is already animated. So you can just press Play. And it's animated along this line. And you can animate it further by clicking on these handles. But let's look at it uh, from the textured viewport because it already has a, a texture applied to it. And you click on this uh, icon there to change the viewport rendering. We're going to change our view here to be darker to represent nighttime. You can see it better that way. Pull this down. And it's already animated. In terms of the texturing, I mean, the texture is already there. And with EV, this we're on right now, it has the option to, to bloom because anything that has an emission applied to it, the bloom actually makes it more like a glowy kind of a feel to it. So when we click on the checkbox, you see it has that effect of having this glow around it. Uh, Cycles really doesn't have that option, but EV does. Like I said before, it's animated and animated further animate with these handles. You can left click on the handle, press your keyboard, and then you move it around. And there you go, it, it does that. And the cool thing about this is, um, you don't have to animate it in terms of it appearing and, and disappearing because it does that by itself already. Click on play as I did earlier, and then it disappears because that's how lightning is. And some people might think, well, can you make it uh, last longer on the timeline? And the fact of the matter is lightning happens fairly quickly. So the uh, duration of it on the timeline is actually a little bit longer than it should be. But it gives you more chances to animate it the way you want it to, to be animated, so to speak. Uh, like I said before, you can just animate it yourself in terms of it going up and down and, you know, being pretty chaotic. Just press on this icon here, this button here. This is to record on a timeline. Uh, click on our uh, move gizmo. You can left click on the Z axis or whatever axis you want, and you create a um, starting position there. Move it down probably like two seconds. Let's go down two seconds. One, two. Press during our keyboard again. Move it up a little bit. Create another timeline automatically. Uh, let's move it down two more spots. G again. And then when we play it, turn off our recording aspect of it, Blender. Go back to the beginning. Press play. You see how it moves along that uh, axis that we just created, the movement there? That's the lightning. That's pretty cool. Now, other options that it has, it's got simple lightning, low poly lightning. If you're having an issue with uh, rendering in your system, this is an option for you in the add-on, which is helpful. Um, it's got branch lightning, which is cool. Let's delete this. Let's, start, let's just start a new scene. So file, new, general. Don't save. I'll delete the cube again. Let's go back to our add-on, which is down here. And we're going to click on branch lightning. Let's click on generate new. And it gives us lightning with the same 
options of moving it around. And once again, it's already animated, so you can turn this whatever way you want. Right now, it's like shooting up from the ground. If we press one on keyboard to look at it from the front view, just press R and rotate it. Have it go down, left click on our move gizmo, left click and drag it up on the Z axis. And we press play and it's animated already. And once again, you can take these handles, press G and move them whichever you want to. And it's also still at, uh, textured, which is great. So it's got a lot of options in it. Um, on the random lightning, this is a really cool aspect of it too. You can actually cause lightning to come out of an object. So once again, let's start a new scene. File. New. General. Don't save. Uh, get rid of the cube. Shift A. Let's get Suzanne in there. And we're going to press on monkey. Press 1 to go into the front view. And let's leave, leave her the way she is. She's fine. We're just going to use her as a conductor for the lightning. And then we're going to click on our add-on once again. Random lightning. And you can change the amount of the branches. Uh, the amount of the uh, branch per junction. Let's bump this up to like 30. Enter. Uh, put this up to 3. Enter. Now if you want the lightning to come out of Suzanne or any object you have in Blender, maybe you've, you've created a power grid or something along those lines or a, a pole, electric pole. Uh, click on attach lightning to object. Check, put a check in that box. Click on the eyedropper left click on your object, in my case it's Suzanne, and then click on generate new, and there you go. There's lightning coming out of Suzanne from the bottom. Press play again, and once again it's already animated. Yeah. So yeah, that's this is the uh, Electrify add-on that, that makes lightning uh, creation in Blender fast and easy, and makes it pretty, pretty fun to work with. It's not anything complicated, it's pretty straightforward. And that's today's Blender Quick Tip. Uh, so you guys can just download yourself and try it out and just see how you like it. And once again, like and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.